Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you how to make a jeans texture. We're going to start with opening a new file. Take any size you like. Now we have to fill it with a dark blue color. Or any color you like. Doesn't matter actually. Oops, I still have my pattern on. There. Now the next step will be the one with the pattern I just did. So a new layer adding. I need a pattern for it. You can draw it yourself, but that will take ages. So it's better to find a pattern online. Just Google it. Then fill with the pattern. And there we go. Now we need to bump this. So click on the background, filters, projections, bump map or bump projection and here you got to choose the first layer with the scan lines the type will be this last one these two need to be checked make sure you have those depth should be a tree normally it is already on tree and the water level should be on maximum so when you've done that click up OK now the first layer we made with the scan lines we don't need anymore so we are going to delete it there we go so this is basically a jeans texture now you can start adding folds to it or anything else that involves jeans textures so I will show you how to make some folds you can have a new layer I have actually some brushes I made that help me do this but you can also do it with a normal brush but I'm going to show you the both of them so this is one I need to have the white color so make sure it's white then click on the layer there we go now click right on this layer and say duplicate now we have two of them now all we need to do is go to the manual color invert so it looks grey now we choose the move tool and move that layer a bit so you can see the shadings in it there we go I'm going to put this white layer on overlay and there you see your folds mm, they aren't too big now because I used a little brush but if you make it a bigger one like if I'm going to use this one wait, I gotta make a new layer first never forget to do that, I tend to forget that sometimes so I can start over again now we are going to do it with a bigger brush and there we go duplicate, duplicate it again I can get out of my words today colors, inverts and there we go, we gotta move it again move it around pick the white layer, put it on overlay and we gotta fall again how do you do this with a normal brush? like for instance when you have folds on your clothing like on the elbows or the knees it's gonna look a, a bit like what I'm going to draw so here we go also it looks like again I forgot my new layer now we're okay again so mostly you can paint it a bit like this this should be a little fold then duplicate it once again invert it move it put this one white one on overlay once again now the black looks a bit dark so you can adjust it by adding it 
by adjusting the opacity of your layer. Now, you see, it's a little fold over here. I used a big brush so you can see how it looks like, but when you are working with details, you can choose smaller brushes and so on. Now, for the next one, jeans have rips in them, so we are going to make those. Choose your brush. I would suggest to pick a fuzzy brush, kind of like this one. Make sure you have... Um, I don't really know what it's called in English, but I think it's something with flow, but it's the first one in here. I think it's flow out. So you can just select that one and start brushing. Now, if I use my brush, it goes like this. See? It fades at the end. That is the effect you should have now when you select that option. So we'll make a rip now. Just start by drawing something like this. Just actually just trying out some things and push here and there. It does not always look look that good, but there we go. Now we have this. We are going to go to Desort, Relief, OK. And uh, we have this. You can adjust it a bit to see if you, what you like most, but I'm going to leave it like this. There. So you can use these options or choose your own options, whatever you like. Then click OK. Now it looks like this. We're going to add a new layer under it. So there we go. Take a normal brush. Put your color on black and start filling it. You see? There you go. That's about it. So I think this will help you make basic folds and rips. It only needs uh, some practice to do this. So, if you have any questions, just ask me. Have fun, guys.